Well, I bought a two ounce gold coin and I think you can probably agree it's one of the most beautiful and stunning and incredible pieces that anyone could hope to ever own. So let's have a good close look at it in all of its glory today and talk about why I bought this absolute stunner of a coin. everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a warm welcome to all joining me for this week's In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at something cool made of silver or gold. We've got a Royal Mint unboxing, an unexpected unboxing. I did not expect to get this so quick because it's part of the new Coronation coin range that was released just on Monday. Massive successful launch with a huge amount of coins sold, although it was not without its issues around payment processing and myself included was affected by that. However, I was offered an opportunity to purchase something very special, a two ounce gold proof coin. And this isn't the regular proof coin, this is actually a, a completely frosted version that has only a mintage of 100, a very special edition piece indeed. And when I was offered the chance to buy it, I had a good long hard think about it, let me tell you, because at a 5,595 I think it was, um, it was a decision to make and to really think about for the long term, put it like that. And this is most certainly something that will be going into a secure vault and probably forgotten about for 20, 30 years, and then we'll see where it is. It's one of those long-term coins. So let's have a good close look at it and see what it's all about, because this, let me tell you, is something super special. Now, whilst I don't necessarily agree with the idea of there being exclusives for people who maybe have account managers at the Raw Mint, it is part of the game, unfortunately, and these coins are, I think, super, super cool and exclusive. Um, and that's really kind of part of the draw to it as well, being in that club, it's part of that. But that said, part of my decision making on buying a coin like this was looking back at past versions of what they call the Mint Mark exclusives, and they do tend to garner pretty good rates of at least retention of value, if not potential profits as well. And whilst I'm not necessarily buying this solely just to flip and make money, it's always in my mind as to what a coin will do and how it will do over time as to whether or not I actually pull that trigger and buy. And certainly when you're looking at spending £5,495 on a single gold coin, you do need to have the head and the heart working in conjunction to see what is best. Now, are we ready? Here it is. Wow. That's pretty good. Now, I've seen some pretty cool coins in my time. I've been fortunate enough to film with a gigantic gothic crown gold proof coin. I've seen a kilo gold bar, but I got a little heart flutter when this coin was first laid upon my eyes, and it looks great. It really does. I have been harking on on this channel for the last seven years of making videos about how I feel that frosted coins and proof frosted coins are the single best. And this holds no bounds. It is stunning. Really, really beautiful. Now, this is the first time I'm seeing this particular design in the flesh as well. We have got some of the silver versions yet to arrive. And they will have, and I think we've got one of the gold quarter ounce in regular proof with a shiny background. So when those come, we'll get this out again to have a good old play and look at it. But for right now, this is a coin that I love. I think it is fantastic. I think the way that it has all of this beautiful light play coming off of it looks incredible. The amount of detail, second to none, as you'd expect from some ridiculously high quali highly qualified coin engravers and designers. Absolutely beautiful, but not too busy. You know, the Memorial Sovereign was a very busy design with so much going on it. This is a little bit more classic. It's got a lot more of that kind of, I guess, less overstated royalty, less overstated kind of pomp and ceremony, and it's just celebrating what it means to really be British. And a lot of people often sort of question the monarchy and whether or not we should have it or not and everyone's 
got their own opinions and everyone's got the right for their own opinions too. But what I think that it quintessentially means to be British is to have this sense of this sense of something else, this sense of dedication and devotion. And that comes from the royal family down. And that's, I think, a really cool thing. Now, in terms of the design, it's just everything celebrating that it, everything that is royal, everything that is right about the royals in this sense. And we've got the, the four nations celebrated within the crest in the center there with the also the flowers around the edges. We've got the Rose of England, the Thistle of Scotland, the Daffodil of um, Wales and the Shamrock of Ireland. We've got King Charles's cipher there, which is a brilliant one as well. And then we've got the secondary little cipher there of the three C's. It's really, really elegant and beautiful. I'm going to try and get even closer into this. Uh, wow, nah, the camera does not like it. So maybe we'll have to stay a little bit further back and do it gradually. But the, the amount of detail that's on this is fantastic, and I'm really happy with it. Now, quality control-wise, I'm not seeing any issues on this at all at this point, and I am super happy with that, of course, when you're looking at this much um, cash to outlay for a coin like this, it does need to be pretty perfect. And I've had a good old go over it on the loop, and I'm not seeing any major issues, so really, really happy with that. Now, what I'm going to do with it, I think don't know if I'm going to grade it. I probably won't grade it. I'm not the biggest fan of coin grading, um, you know, from my perspective. Oh, there's King Charles with his crown. We haven't even looked at that side. It keeps getting better. Um, so coin grading very quickly. I, I don't know if I will. I am not a massive fan of um, sort of the modern coin grading when it comes to these. I think if I wanted to have something that might be more of something I'd sell um, to have a potential PF70 and get that, play that game and try and get that profit, maybe. But as I said, this is something I think is going to go into a vault for 20, 30 years, and we'll just see how it goes. This is a you know, crowning moment within many people's lifetime. There are not very many people alive that will have seen the crowning of Her Majesty the Queen and still be alive today. It's an event, and this is something that will, I think, be very, very, you know memorialized within people's memories within this country and I think going forwards when we have another monarch crowned in however many years that might be with Charles after or after Charles that I think will then be less special in a way because it will have happened in I don't know 10 years 15 years however long Charlie has got left but this right now represents a real change of the guard for us in the United Kingdom for Queen and Country, it's been for so many years, and most people's lives, mine included. And now we have a different monarch ready to be crowned. So that's why I bought it, because I do think that this is something pretty special. I think this is something that will be pride of place in my collection, quite frankly. It's beautiful. I, I thought this coin looked good when I saw the images, but I do genuinely feel that this looks even better in the flesh than it does in uh, in sort of picture form, which is fantastic. Really great design. Uh, let's uh, zoom out a little bit and we'll have a look at the certificate of authenticity that comes with it. So two ounce gold proof coin and we've got the details there. Quality proof matte finish. Limited edition presentation 100 with a maximum vintage of 106. So presumably six of these will be sent off to the trial of the picks one day and they'll have lots of grubby fingerprints and dings and dents on them as people look at them and make sure that they're all above board. But that's, that's a story for another time about the trial of the picks. If you don't know anything about that, give it a good old Google. It's really quite interesting. So there we have a two ounce gold coin. I'm very happy with that. And I think this little coin series, certainly this design. I think the other two designs might not do as well over time, but this design looks great. And this is sort of the, the jewel in the crown of that release. It's great. I'd love to know your opinions on this coin. It would be great to hear from you down in that comment section. So please do feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, that's it from me. A massive thank you to all my Backyard Bullion Ramblers, the Cool Kids Club, who are watching to the ninth minute of my ramble about a gold coin. It'd be great to hear from you down in the comment section. Otherwise, that's it from me. A big thank you to you all. We'll see you next time. Have a great weekend. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.